Today I will be showing you how to use eBird. You can see here I am on the Explore tab, and we have the option to search by species or by location. We're going to start with searching by species. I'm going to search for the American Robin. You can see here that it pulls up a bunch of different information on the species. There are plenty of photos here so I can see what the bird looks like, and I can scroll down here to see the identification description of this bird, which is super helpful, as well as the audio for this bird, so I can compare this to what I recorded outside. At the bottom of the page, you can see some top photos, videos, and audios. You can see here the range map. I'm going to click large map here. Now I can see all the observations for the American Robin around the world. Now let's see what happens when I change the date range. Start searching by all years and just changing to see the June to July observations. Now we will search by just the December to February observations. You can see that the observations continue much further north in the summer months, which makes sense. That was cool, but now let's go into the science tab here. I'm going to search for the American Robin again, and here I can see some trend maps. These more precisely show the migration that I was just talking about. We're going to go back to the Explore tab. This time we're going to explore by region. I'm going to search for Waterloo. This brings me to see all the observations in Waterloo. You can see here that I can filter by different dates. I can also sort this list by species, top count, or date. I can see the bird hotspots in Waterloo by clicking here, and I can see that Laurel Creek is at the top with 227 species logged to it. I'm going to find the University of Waterloo, which is way down at the list, which means we need to do some more observing of birds on campus. For me, it's number 74 on the list. We could click on the University of Waterloo campus here, but I'm gonna show you another way to find it. We're gonna to go to the top of the page and click on this map here. Now I'm going to move around and find the University of Waterloo campus marker. Now I can see the different birds observed on campus. I'll show you here that there is a checklist, both the illustrated one up here, but also a printable checklist here. This is a list of the species that have been observed at this UW campus hotspot. These checklists are really cool to take out and to try to find as many birds as possible. This makes it a little bit easier when IDing birds, as you know the birds that have already been seen here and that you may see them again. Okay, going back to the campus hotspot, I can search by different years, however we're going to leave this set to all years. I can also search by month. Make sure you click this set button. So now I'm seeing observations in January for all years. For your lab, you will need to record the top 10 birds identified for all years for the month of May. Please include the English and Latin names. You can find the scientific names by clicking on the English name to see more information on the species. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned how to navigate eBird. There are of course many features that I did not mention, so please feel free to spend time exploring the website.